Hello, this is B here in this talker. And I have been uploading some English lesson step by step. This is third part of learn English. Okay. Last time we talked the form of helping box and today I'm going to talk about help form. Have and has a present form and has its past form. Now, two number, sorry, one number. I, we, you, they, the boys plus have. We have comes with I and plural subjects. Plural subjects, more than one. Yes. When you talk about your qualification, experience, and training, it's better if you use I have plus E3. E3 means past participle form. For example, I have passed high school level. I have worked as a cook for two years. And I have taken basic English, Indian cook, and computer training. Here, I have passed, or you can say I have completed, I have done high school level. Suppose your level is high secondary, you can say I have passed high secondary level, bachelor's level, master's level, in this way. But when you talk about qualification, or experience or training, you can use I have plus D3. It's qualification. I have passed high school level. And two, I have worked as a cook for two years. I have worked times, yes. Here I have worked. It is your experience and I've taken basic English, Indian food, and computer training. I've taken, it's about training. Yes. I have plus past participle form helps you to express your qualification, experience, or training. Now, let's see some more uses. I have sent you an email, I have invited them, you have taken my no notebook, they have known me, the boys have painted the house, have you known me, have you taken your passport, okay, here, I have plus D3. I've sent you an email. That means the person with whom you are talking may not have taken your email. And you can say, I have sent you an email. Please take it and respond me as soon as possible in this way. And I have invited them. That means you, you have organized some kind of party or you have some celebration or even other events and you have invited someone. That's why you see here I have invited someone. And you have taken my notebook. You are reminding someone saying that you have taken my notebook. In this condition you know work finished but effect remaining. The person who has taken your notebook has not written it yet. Okay? And here is the but I wrote the okay. Now uh, they have known me. They have known me. They have recognized me. 
non me. Okay, they are familiar with me, my friends. They are familiar with me. And the boys have painted the house. Have you known me? The question form. Yes, no question. And have you taken your passport? Yes, no question. Okay, in this way you can use have with I, we, you, they, the boys, Ram and Krishna have. Rita and Chita have. In this way, with plural subjects, we use have. But after have, past participle form. This one is past participle. E3. This one, taken, non, painted, non, again taken. These are past participle. Home. Okay. In this way, we can use have. And let's talk about has. Has with singular. He, she, he, the boy. Plus has. He has. Krishna has. The girl has. Yeah. He has, she has, he has, the boy has, as with singular subjects. If you are talking about someone's qualification, experience, or training, you can use subject plus has plus B3. B3 means past participle form, third form. Okay, for example, Ram has completed master's degree. Ram has completed master's degree. Here, Ram is name of boy or male. Male name and it is singular, so it has. Has completed. And he has worked as a cashier in a bank. He has worked. He has worked. He has taken six months tally course, maybe computer course, tally, uh, counting package course and other courses are here available. And what is written here? He has taken six months tally course. It is his experience, sorry, training. This one is experience. And this one is qualification. Okay. Now, my father has written some poem. My father has written some poem. Has written. Now, let's see more you say. Mr. Black has come here. Mr. Black has come. Has come here. When you say this sentence, at the time, Mr. Black is there. Yeah, when he returned back, you say Mr. Black had come. But here, Mr. Black is here. That's why you say, Mr. Black has come here. And Mrs. Parker has organized a party. Has organized. She has invited all of us. Mr. Mishra has sold his house. Krishna has read many novels. Vijaya has learned English. Kumar has started a new job. Basanta has owned the lottery. Okay. Here we can see all the subjects are singular. That's why has been used as, 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 as. Okay. In this way, this very short part.
part 3 of Learn English. Then we speak English. Here is uh, here are many parts, and I am going to upload step by step. That's why it's the part three. Enjoy. Good luck. Thank you.